Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add open graphs to your Next.js project using the app configuration. In the previous video, I was showing you how to do it using the pages configuration, which most people don't use anymore, but it's still widely used. That's why I wanted to do a tutorial about that as well. But this one is about like the app configuration and how to add social media preview cards so that you can share your link on LinkedIn, or social media uh, platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, X, uh, Facebook, and then you'll see that a preview image of your website is gonna come on the screen. Okay, so let me show you what I mean if you don't know what I'm talking about. So this is the project uh, that I'm gonna be uh, adding the cards to or the preview image. I already have it, but I'm just gonna do it again so that you can see. So if I go to, let's say Twitter in this case, and I shared the link of my project, you'll see that uh, there, there. So you can see that this is the social media uh, preview card here. You have the name of the website as well, or the title in this case, description. And if you go to LinkedIn, and if I share my website, you'll see that there is also like a preview image. So this one is already working, but still I want to show it to you. If you go to Discord, you want to share your website. Let's just enter this, and then you'll see that it has like a description here. So how uh, in some you know social media platforms it shows differently uh you know it shows different things a, a description a title sometimes it shows just the title sometimes it just shows the image so it varies uh, uh you know across different social media platforms okay so what do you want to do so if you have like an app configuration you want to go to source or in this case like if you have like an app like an app folder you just go to the app folder then you want to go to layout.tsx so for the app configuration, there is no underscore document anymore. That was for the pages configuration. In this case, you want to go to layout.tsx. Once you go to layout.tsx, so what we want to do is we want to import, and this is going to be metadata. So this one, you want to import metadata, okay? And once you've done that, you'll do the following. So you'll say export const uh, metadata, uh, well, this was not it, but you can do this as well. So metadata, I'm using that TSX, so I have to have to give it like a type, right? So it's type metadata. All right, so I'm just gonna go one by one. So in this case, I'll add title to this one and then do something like this. Okay, so here, let me just do something first and then I'll show you, I'll just type template. And then this is a placeholder. So this will be like a placeholder. I'm just gonna use single quotes. Okay, and then default. So this is gonna be the default one. So in my case, it's uh, resume. I'm just copying this from somewhere else. A boost AI resume builder. All right, so let me explain this for a second. So let's save this and let me explain this. All right, so here the template. So this is for the title, right? So title and then this is the template. So this is a placeholder. So let's say that you go to a different page. In my case, resume score page.tsx, right? Here, I can also say import metadata and constant, you know, like metadata, metadata, and then the title. And then I can pass like a title and I can pass a description. So forget about the description for now, but if you pass the title of resume score, this is gonna be placed here. So if you go to the resume score uh, website, so let me just show you, go to resume score, right? So you see that the title here shows as resume score. Okay. So it's taking the one uh, from the page itself, from the resume score page, and it's placing that one there. If you were, if you didn't have a title or you didn't provide a title, it's going to provide the default one. And the default one is Resume Boost AI Resume Builder. So, which is this one. Well, no, this is a different one. Uh, I think all of them have like a title, so I cannot show you. But if I didn't have like a title, then it would be Resume Boost AI Resume Builder. So that's the one that's gonna show. Okay, so this is just a placeholder so that you can, uh, you know, place dynamic content into that one. Once you go to uh, a single page or like a different page, right? Okay, so now we'll just uh, continue with description. And then here you can just put like, uh, 
Uh, I'm just gonna copy this. Uh, yeah, I just have like an extra one. Yeah, but this is the description that, that I currently have. Yes. So then it's just like a description of your website and you know what your website is, right? And here as well, you don't have to, let me just go here. Okay, so now we also wanna set the metadata base. Metadata base, right? And then we'll just say new URL. And this is the URL of your website. So then you'll go to your website, copy this, and then you'll have that there, right? All right, so here the metadata base, uh, the, the URL we have said uh, to be our website. So this is to construct uh, relative URLs. And I'll show you later on once uh, we add images and then you'll see why we use this. And now let's do Twitter. So they haven't changed this, it's still Twitter, right? So card, and then here we have to say, uh, just it's a little bit similar as before, like summary large image. Uh, for the pages configuration, it's almost the same. So site, just gonna add here my, uh, yes, oh, site, sorry. So here for site, you can just put like rest and boost AI or whatever your website is, or yeah restaurantboostai.com or uh, it, it really depends what you want to put so don't forget the commas here uh, I'll just put uh, restaurantboostai.com okay then creator here you can put your Twitter handle okay let's keep going so now title so for title this is the title of your website. So you want to put something like Resident Boost AI uh, Resident Builder. This is what I have. So if you go here, Resident Boost AI Resident Builder. So this is the title that's going to show, right? Okay. So let's go to description now. So for description. Right. So I'm just going to put Boost, um, you know, your rest. I'm just going to copy what, what I already have so that I don't do much typing here okay it's not what I wanted okay there we go description and that description uh, if I show you this you'll see it here let me just sorry I opened that one by mistake let me show you this I'm gonna delete these two here I'm just gonna copy once again my site's uh, URL, go here, and then you'll see the description here. So boost your resume using AI and like your dream dream job today. So which is this description here. And this is where we're gonna be using the base. Uh, so for image, right? Or in this case, it would be images. We can just say something like, if we just say, you know, images, and this depends where you have your image, right? So you'll have something like the whole path, something like this and like that, and that P PNG, right? So that's the path where your image is, the image that you wanna show on the Twitter card, right? So if we go, go, if we go to public here, you'll see that there is like a feature that PNG. So this is the image that's gonna be showing. But you can also do this since we already have like the metadata base, uh, the URL. You don't need this whole path here. And you can just do feature that PNG. So it's gonna be like a slash the feature that PNG. And it's gonna take this to construct the path here to, to find the image. So you can just do that. So it saves a lot of time. So then you don't have to put like your URL all, all the time here for your website. Okay, so that would be it for this one. And then it's good to set up like the open graph one. That one was for Twitter, but this open graph would be for other, uh, you know, other websites that don't use the same configuration as uh, the Twitter, uh, as Twitter uses. And once again here, the same thing. You can put the whole path like you know, uh, this is uh, something like this, and then, you know, whatever you have the image, right? So I added a different image, so just to show you here, 
So if you go to public once again, open graph image.png, it's just the same image. I just want to show the same image across all social media. So the name of it was, sorry, I forgot, open graph.png, I think. Yeah, open graph image.png. So open graph image.png, right? And once again, since we already defined like a metadata base and the URL is our website's URL, I can just get rid of this and that should work just fine. All right, and that's pretty much it. Let's put a comma here. And yeah, that's it. So now if you go to, uh, once again, like a different website of your site. So let me just go to the FAQ page so that you can see what I mean. Let's see, have a lot of things here. So FAQ, you go to the page itself. And once again, if you go to the FAQ, you go to the FAQ, right? You have FAQ Resume Boost AI. And if you go here, to the page, to the individual page for the FAQ in your code, you can see that I have provided this title and that's why it shows as FAQ Resume Boost AI. But if I didn't have one, then it's gonna take the one in layout, the default one that you're using here. So it's gonna take that one. And it would be the same thing. Uh, well, no, for the description, it's gonna be different here. I'm providing like a description here, but you can also hear for the description, like give like a, you know, like a, the default one if you wanted to. But in my case, I'm just gonna keep this description here. And when I create like individual pages, then I'll just give a description for that page, which is like get answers to commonly asked questions about my software in this case, right? So I like to provide that. That's why I don't have like a the default one for that one. Cause I, I like to have different descriptions for like the different pages, right? I hope that makes sense. Okay, and then that's that's it. That's pretty much it. So if you share your website on the different uh, social media platforms, you can see that the title, the open uh, graph image that you have provided, uh, same with LinkedIn and with other social media platforms. So yeah, just give it a try, uh, commit the code and push the changes and let me know how it goes. If you have any problems, just leave it in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.